what's up guys we're coming here to the lone star reptile expo and just trying to see what they got man you know what i'm saying i'm always excited to go to another reptile expo so uh we're just gonna go in and mosey around like we do in texas y'all and uh see what happens you know what i'm saying so so this is i'm sorry guys i've been talking this is bnt <laughs> retex um if you just saw the 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 what was that called the keys the keys, keys, keys yeah the keys vlog um last wednesday they were on there they were the uh showcase on and they discussed a lot of reticulated pythons and uh, so it is dax and taylor and taylor and uh you know they've been around for a while we saw them at uh narbc and they had a great uh reticulated python out and was playing with it, it was really cool guys so um if you can catch that you know we'll see what they have here on the table, but reticulated pythons are definitely a great animal to have if you have the, the size, but you know, the temperament's the same with all snakes. So. Today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Awesome. If you have any so, questions, just let me know. I know that these are Lichianus geckos. Yes, all three of these up front are Lichianus. The top two over here are gargoyles, and the bottom rack is Crestus. Okay. Is the care for the gargoyle the same as for the Crestus? The care for all three of these are the same. Okay. Cool. So they can live at like room temperature? And, well, uh, as long as you're keeping your house in the 70s, ideally 75. Okay. But they can't, anything over 80 is definitely harmful to them. And then, what, and anything below 70 is not, not so good either. Kind of yeah. What you want to do is feed these guys every other day. And uh, you want to mist, what you want to do is you want to mist it real good. Because they'll drink, they'll mostly drink the water off the plants or the side of the enclosure. But you, then you want to let it dry and then mist again. That way you're not getting any mold. Okay. Um, humidity wise, about 65% humidity is what they like, yes. Um, so these are all New Caledonian. New Caledonia is the islands off of Australia. What we do is we feed them a Pangea diet and they have Pangea at the table behind us right here. Okay. It's a powdered diet. You add water about the consistency of a runny milkshake. Mm -hmm. And Just mix it up. Yeah, you can supplement with uh, insects. We don't, if you do, uh, only use treats because you don't, they're not going to give them the nutrition that they're going to need. Probably. Just from the insects. Okay. That is a complete diet for them. That's cool. So how long have y'all been breeding? I see you got three different species here. How long have y'all been breeding? Well, now we've been breeding the geckos for about 11 years. Wow. Now he used to, before him and I got together, he did, um, he was breeding some kegus. Okay. And then we had to downsize for a while, and now we're getting into bearded dragons and a few other little projects that are going on. So.